first of all how do they define an impression in prosodontics uh, impression is a negative likeness or copy in reverse of the surface of an object an imprint of the teeth and adjacent structures for use in dentistry depending on the theories of impression making the impression types are three mucostatic mucocompressive and selective pressure technique the names of these types are self explanatory let us see them in detail the first theory is the mucostatic impression technique it is also known as passive impression technique non pressure or minimal pressure impression technique it was proposed by richardson and propagated by harry page in this technique what we are going to do as the name suggests mucostatic the oral mucosa is recorded in a resting state what kind of tray is used an oversized impression tray with spacer is used here border molding is not performed and therefore the flanges are shorter than the other techniques and what is the impression material of choice used it is impression plaster instead of calling it as a non pressure technique it is better to address it as a minimal pressure technique as it is practically impossible to record mucosa with no pressure and finally what are the disadvantages of this method the denture does not extend up to the physiological limits since the flanges are short the dentures are closely adapted therefore good stability is present but poor peripheral seal because the border molding is not done and therefore poor retention instead let us see the second theory of impression making the mucocompressive or pressure impression technique here this technique compresses the denture bearing tissues during impression making it was proposed by carol jones the principle is that by recording tissue in a compressed state they are prepared to withstand functional forces better but pressure during impression making is applied manually or by closed mouth technique impression material used is usually impression compound irreversible hydrocolloid patty and heavy body elastomeric impression materials and what are the disadvantages in this theory the denture is over extended first of all since you record the tissue in a compressed state the denture are vulnerable for dislodgement when at rest or speaking due to rebound phenomenon of the tissues since the ridge are at constant pressure the residual ridge resorption is higher and the relieving areas that is the areas not capable of withstanding pressure or in the relieving areas the areas not capable of withstanding pressure or also put under constant compression let us move to the third theory of impression making the selective pressure technique it was proposed by boucher as the name suggests selective pressure is a, it is a mixture of both the above techniques mucocompressive and mucostatic pressure is applied selectively on the areas capable of resisting stress that is the stress bearing areas and reduced from areas incapable of tolerating stress that is the relief areas this technique is applied and achieved through the design of the custom tray where non stress bearing relief areas are relieved and the stress bearing areas contact the tray there are no main disadvantages but there are some opinion that it may be impossible to record areas with varying pressure and some suggest that still the areas recorded under compression can undergo rebound phenomenon thus we saw what is the definition of an impression and the theories of impression making and the three theories in detail mucostatic mucocompressive and selective pressure technique hope this video helped you out and see you soon in a next video